Hey everybody, welcome back to Beholder. My name is Bear. Let's keep spying on our neighbors, shall we? Kicked out Mr. Manischek and cleared out apartment two, and we're actually gonna head up here. I, uh, I read in the comments, apparently you can go through the vacant apartments and, uh, kind of search through and make sure you don't leave any valuables behind before you fill it in with a new tenant. So we're gonna go check that out real fast. Although, oh wait, no, we have to repair the apartment first, I imagine, and then we can do that, right? Okay, that might be the case. So let's go check it out now. Now that the uh, repairs have been finished, we may be able, to be able to click on the door or no, we can't still? Come on, come on. We can't do anything with it? Alright, I guess that's not the case. But, we do need to fill this in all the same. We're gonna move somebody in. We're gonna choose from the available tenants. Hello? Aloysius Spock. That's a fun name. A famous cardio surgeon looking for a long-term rental guaranteed to be a decent tenant versus Jones Popanendo. We'll rent a cuddy for a couple of weeks. I'm gonna go with the, uh, with the doctor. Not to be discriminatory or anything, but... I don't know, it just seems like the better play to me. Hey, Rosa! I'm not trying to break into the new tenant's apartment or anything. No, don't worry about that. Good afternoon. Okay, yeah, that's all we have to say. Let's check the mail today as well, why not? The Ministry of Truth has noticed a rising interest in philosophy books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His writings describe obsolete ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The Ministry believes the notion of a society without government, in which the freedom of personal choice exists, is dangerous, and should be destroyed in all its forms. Also, Sneaky! The voice of truth! The fact that our society is capable of understanding Paul Williams' ideas or mass en masse proves his unique talent and ability to word things simply. We should encourage interest in the great thinkers of the past if you want to progress and initiate a dialogue between the people and the state. Philosophy is nonsense! You can't just say things and have them have meaning, okay, man? It doesn't work that way. Hel Aloysius! Hello! Welcome to the building! I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Carl the Landlord. I'm honored. I'm Dr. Aloysius Spock, a physician. You must have heard about me. The entire city did. I... I've never heard of you. Really? Did you just get here? What are you, what are you famous for? I'm not wanting to pat myself on the back. I was just doing my duty. Oh, I think I accidentally skipped beyond the line of her dialogue. Whoops. Double click. What problems could I possibly have? Nothing. You're very busy. How's it going? Oh, busy, busy, busy. Patients fight over me. Are you a doctor? That's the real one, don't you doubt it? Oh god, I keep doing that. Goddamn double clicks. I can even cure a healthy man. I'd say especially healthy. Any education? Are you kidding? I've dedicated my life to treating people. Your doubts hurt me. Sorry, this is a demanding job. How can you, dear? Here's a good way for you to relax. Just be reasonable. Oh, she gave us some whiskey. Oh, that was kind of her, okay. That'll probably come in handy later. Let's check out her house. You know, because she was so kind to provide me with a gift the first time that we ran into each other. Why not repay that kindness with a little bit of sleuthing? Although, oh boy, if, if I get caught, if I get caught in here, I don't know if it's going to be good. Uh-oh. Close the door. Nice. Okay. A little, a little spooky there. I got it, though. Let's check her out. See if we uh, need to find out anything interesting about our new tenant here. Nothing in the bed. It's always got to be the first place you look, though. My son's probably uh, wondering what's, what the hell's going on, too. I haven't talked to him in a while. My current objective is to call the Ministry. I suppose I should go get my reward for turning in Mr. Manischek after all this time. But I do want to make sure, real quick, we're not looking at a brand new terrible person to replace him. Could be the case. I think I'm wasting a little bit too much time here, though, so let's go call the, uh... Call the Ministry, double time it. Man, he can run fast! Holy shit! Dial the number. Congratulations! Your task was a success! As a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account. Hey, not bad. Remember, if you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fined and killed! You must be put in your apartment at all times and answer the phone when it rings. Even if you're dying. Do you understand? Yes. You got rid of the violator, now survey your tenant's opinions on Shimmer. Find out what other people think about him. Document his characteristics after you're done with the survey. Get to work! Shimmer, eh? I think I recognize that name. 
Klaus Shimmer, that is. Likes to play chess. That's all we know about him right now, but we gotta figure out more. I also haven't paid much attention to my family, as I mentioned. We should do go, uh, probably address that as well. Talk to little Martha. Hey, girl. How you doing? Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. I lost Naira. It's somewhere to be found. Who's Naira? It's my doll. It's my favorite doll, Dad. Will you help me find it? You scared me, Martha. Where did you last play with it? At home. Naira's too small to walk outside. Find her, please. Find the lost doll. It's a current objective alongside spy on your neighbors and report them for illicit activity. Just about the same level of uh, gravitas in both circumstances. Rosa, is this just where you hang out? Is this just like a community kitchen down here? It might be. I want to ask you about Klaus Shimmer. Does he bother you? He's a person of worth. He helped me to acquire a nice bottle of Zerus. He's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. That is good info, actually, yes. Thank you very much. A wine steward he is. I've heard tell that he may uh, be a partaker of the pipe as well, although I may be confusing him with someone else. It is illegal to read or own a book by Paul Williams. That's right, we read that in the newspaper, didn't we? I also need to talk to my other family members, my, uh, my wife and son, namely. One of whom I think might actually be over here. Hey there! Hey, Anna. What, Kyle? Uh, domestic problems. Do we have any? Let's find out. That's... <laughs> if you've seen Bojack Horseman, it sounds a, little, a bit akin to that terrible game show. I need your help, honey. I can't find a big enough saucepan. I searched every nook and cranny, and I have no idea where it is. Maybe someone stole it. Should we call the police? Call the police because of an old saucepan? Don't even think of this. You must have left it in our old house. If you say so. Can you ask the tenants about the saucepans? I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll make a compote for Martha and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about a saucepan. Thanks, family. Thanks for all these important tasks. Saucepans and dolls, what do you need, son? A motorbike? A concert ticket? What can good old daddy get for you, Patrick? Where is daddy? Why is he not talking to you? Yes, father. Talk about the mines. Have you changed your opinion? I hate them, father. What do you need, though? Issue, father. What do you want? Economics classes have started, and we were given a list of books to read. The books I need for school. I stopped by the bookstore, and they don't have these books. I heard I could get used ones at the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone you know has these books. You talk to wise people. Oh, he's so flattering. I'm thinking about what I can do for you. That's a very straightforward form of conversation. Yes, blunt. I like it. All right. So my, my family has sent me on a uh, list of errands here. Let's go see what else we can uh, get into. I think I might want to rent out some of these other apartments just to uh, get a little bit more action going on as well because I don't know what, whether other stuff is going to just happen by itself. Hey, Klaus. What's up, buddy? Uh, ask about the suspicions of the authorities. Let's just hear it from the source. Why not? Clouds are piling up. I'll probably be accused of selling anti-government tobacco. Are you mixed up with something? It's all about the apartment. I refused to give them up and was accused of horrible things. Oh, boy. See, now I don't feel like I really ought to turn the guy in. Do you have a saucepan suitable for making a compote? You better talk to my wife, Maria. I don't know anything about household issues or dishware. I have to work in a tobacco shop now. The ceilings are so low, I have to tilt my head. I used to work as a senior economist. 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 Those days are long gone. Sad. Sad times, man. All right, well. We got to talk to Maria then about the saucepan, it seems. Otherwise, what do we got going on? A Aloysius! What do you know about Klaus? You just moved in. You're not gonna know shit. Uh... I guess I could have asked her anyway, but all the same. Let's see. Well, first of all... Our daughter said her doll was in the house, so maybe we should just look at our own shit and see if we can find it. It was like, like, under the bed. Might be a good place to investigate. 
We can go step by step for this. Not found there. Maybe we're not supposed to find it in just some random place. And it, oh, never mind. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Old doll. My wife played with this doll as a child. Now our daughter does. She calls it Naira, even though that name is more suitable for a cat. That's a fine name for a doll. It's not a big deal. You can name a doll a cat. They're they're like it's like the same naming spectrum, isn't it? All right, where we got? Well, we got the doll. We need the saucepan from Martha. Or no, not Martha. Martha lost her doll. We need the saucepan from. What's her name? Maria. Mariah. Mariah Shimmer. Okay. And then, otherwise, we need to talk to the uh, the other neighbors about Klaus. Well, what we could also do here is repair apartment 4, because we do have enough money to do that. And I think I'd like to do it now. Let's see about moving somebody in real fast as well. Move them in. Oh, it's only gonna be Jones. Okay, so I guess I have to wait until more people are available. But I might as well rent it to him while he's available, too. Okay, so next... While we're waiting for all this other stuff as well... Well, first of all, I need to talk to Shimmer's wife, who is right there. So let's go make that happen. I can double-click her and hopefully go a little quicker. There we go. Hey, Maria! Mariah! Got a saucepan? My wife wants to make a compo, but we don't have one. You do! Hey! Terrific! We'll bring it back right away. No need for this! My husband and I live alone, and we don't touch this. Please accept this as my housewarming gift. Oh, that's so kind. We'll have to remember that kindness from Maria. Hey, Jones! Does not want to talk to me. Really glad I rented out the apartment to you. Okay. Real, real sociable one, this guy. My compliments! Oh, you might have the books. Let's see. Are those them? They are. Rare and valuable books on economics. They're, oh, it's 2250 Ooh, we can sell the whiskey or my child's doll for $100. That's an expensive doll. Why do we have this? All right, so I need to, <laughs> I have to make a huge morality decision of my own here. Do I sell my whiskey to afford my son's economics books? I think I must. So there we go. Hey, buddy. There you are. Look, I got your books. Daddy had to give up his alcoholism so you could go to school and... Here you go. Have you found out anything about the books, father? Here are your books. Wow! I'll get to work! I've never even dreamed of such wealth! I might not go to the rat's nest after all! To the library, I mean! You call the library the rat's nest? That's rude! Okay, so we need some cameras, first of all. So let's get a nice one. Nice big camera there. We'll install that somewhere. Maybe even in the Shimmer's house. Because I guess that's who we're supposed to be watching anyway. But Maria just gave us her saucepan! I would feel so terrible about that. Oh wait, speaking of which, I need to go get that, uh... Get that saucepan to my wife here. Here you go, love. What, Carl? Here you go. Found a saucepan, Carl! Yes, Maria Shimmer from Apartment 1 saved us. Spare no sugar for the compote! <laughs> Looked like water last time. Looks like water because we have neither sugar nor apples. They're illegal! It's not my fault that you couldn't get a provision card for sugar. Cheer up, sweetheart. Now we have enough sugar. Hell yeah. Now we're fucking rich. Ooh, somebody's got a, uh, a quest for me over here. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta return Martha's doll, too. We gotta make sure we take care of all of our family's needs first. Here you go, honey. I got it. Are you playing with me? Here you go. I miss Nyra so much. I found her. Don't worry. I'm the greatest dad in the world. I have had a great game. You want me to tell you about it? Naira will be a miner buried under rubble, and I'll be the rescuer. What a game. Maybe you'd better play with your letter blocks. I'll build a coal mine out of letter blocks. <laughs> really determined about that, ain't you, Lassie? All right. Let's get a quest. Hello. Oh, that's that's Klaus. Yep, yeah, that's not who I want to talk to. All the best. Hello, Sius. Hello. Ask about her solitude. I should ask her about Klaus now that I've got that opportunity again. I'm happy to see you. How are you doing? And how is the family? Everything is fine, though. I think so. I wanted to ask about so much joy. That's a rare thing nowadays. I'm soothing myself, Alosius. I'm here to talk about it. Oh, Alosius, you can't keep worrying about the whole world. 
the state takes care of us. About your neighbor. But no, I keep worrying about our neighbors. I mean, all people. You know. Uh, sorry, I got carried away. So what did you want to talk about? About Klaus Schimmer from apartment one. I just moved in here, dear. I haven't even met all of our neighbors yet. I'm sure they're all great people. And your, um... Strauss Healer is a great man, too. <laughs> Klaus Schimmer. Of course. If only dear Mr. Schlimber smoked less. Smoking kills. Ah, he was indeed a, uh... Aficionado of the pipe. Okay. Good info there as well. Ah, good. My family's happy. Don't need to call the ministry anymore. I don't actually have an active task at the moment, so I suppose I just need to keep talking to people about Shimmer. I talked to Shimmer's wife before. Maybe I need to again? Wait. Oh, she's got a quest for me still. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Solitude. Do you want to talk? I have a request. A very private one. My ears, Aloysius. Due to the demands of my profession, I have no time for personal matters. Saving people 24-7 is my civic duty. I know it's hard to believe that looking at me, but I'm very shy around women. I'm confused and blushing, and every inch of my extremely gifted self is sweating profusely. What can I do? Get you some deodorant? Your wife is amazing, Carl. You clearly know a lot about dealing with women. I'm lonely. Find me a woman, Carl. She'd be a good woman to have in the bedroom and the kitchen. That's... that is misogynistic. I don't know if I want to find you a woman for you to treat as your property, Aloysius. Who until recently I thought was a woman. No offense meant to anyone at all, ever, whenever I say anything. The Ministry of Truth has noticed a rising... Ah, oh, it's Paul Williams calling... Okay, again. Wait, what's this? Young, pretty, socially active girl would like to meet a well-to-do man for a serious relationship. Well, that's just the answer to my question, isn't it? Call. You'll be glad you did. What if this is like a secret government line? And Aloysius is about to get arrested for trying to solicit women. Is the voice of truth the same? It sure is. Hmm. I wonder if that note I have is like something I need to actually hold on. Let me check. Let me make sure I can't like put this in my inventory or something. No, I can't. Okay, so. I must just have to pass that information on to him. Do you want to talk to me? I don't think you do. Alright. I still need to talk to Shimmer's wife. I also kind of want to spy in on our buddy Jones here. See what he's getting up to. What am I getting? Oh, hold on. I need to go back. There it is. There's Jones. He's gone. So you know what? I can take this opportunity. Oh, there's Mariah Shimmer, though. I should talk to her as well. Let's go talk to her first. She does not want to talk to me. Why? She says no. Well, let's go in here before she gets upstairs. Quickly now. Quickly now. Quickly now. Quickly now. Run. Run inside. And I can't get any... Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, got inside. Here we go. Time to investigate. I need to talk... Oh, I didn't... I did talk to Rosa. I need to talk to Rosa's husband. We're gonna check some of this stuff out. I think I'm gonna install a camera in Joan's house. It'll be good to have this here anyway, no matter who ends up living here next. But let's put this one right up here. We'll just be very, uh... Very preemptively inquisitive about this feller. Don't need to talk to Rosa. There's Mark, I think. Yeah, there's Mark. Okay, so we'll talk to Mark next. Nothing in here so far. Surprised to find nothing incriminating whatsoever. We'll investigate one more thing. Then we'll go talk to Mark. Real quick, real quick. Oh, gotta get out of here. Go, hurry. Hey, buddy. Let me cut you off from your sleep real fast. No? Here we go. What do you want from the archivist? Oh, I haven't even met you yet. Hey, I'm Carl. Mark Rennick is a respected archivist. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than me. Well, that's fucking rude. Ask about Klaus Shimmer. Why do you want to know? Uh... You know what? You're old. You don't give a fuck anymore. I'm gonna tell you the truth. It's my duty! I've seen Klaus buying modeling kits at the store. 
They have no kids. I thought it was a gift. After that, I saw him wrap the box in paper and run home. I thought he bought it for himself. Thanks, Mark. You've been a big help. Wow, I'm really glad I was honest with him. Okay. That gave us a lot of very useful information. Klaus enjoys modeling. Last but not least, though, is Shimmer's wife, Maria. Maria. And apparently my wife also has something of a uh, note to talk to us about. Let's talk to her, too. What, Carl? Chocolates candy. I talked with our neighbors, Carl. They're really nice. I was told a man in a top hat walks near the house occasionally. You can buy some things from him. What things? Antiques? Don't you have enough things? Listen to me first. You never listen to what I tell you. Don't get so steamed I didn't want to offend you. Gee whiz wives, am I right, guys? <laughs> You're the master of bringing people down. Sometimes I think I live with... What did you say about the traitor? They say he's selling some new household supplies. The old woman on the second floor showed me the perfume soap she brought from him last month. I don't have anything like that now, but you can take a look at our other useful items. Why is he wearing a top hat? Why would anybody wear a top hat? Or have their branding represent them as such? How on earth would I know why he's wearing a top hat? Is this bothering me with your silly questions? You're loafing around the house doing nothing and I've cleaned the floor! The least you could do is buy me some sweets for our daughter. Yeah, that is basically my obligation, isn't it? Ooh, Jones has something for me. Hey, man. You willing to actually have a conversation? That's a change. What do you want? Well, let me introduce myself. My name's Carl. Jones Papanato. Boson on Coal Barge 234-87. I'm preparing for a long trip. We're sailing abroad. While I work as a trainee for the Outside Affairs Committee, I live in your shell. What kind of training? This training is obligatory for everyone who travels abroad on business. We're talking anti-propaganda training. Are you alone? Yes, I live alone. Special offer? I have a deal. Times are hard. Everyone is doing their best. I have canned fish. <laughs> I just want to let that linger for a second. You know everyone around here. Find me a buyer and I'll pay you generously. How's the quality? Good or the usual muck? It's the best quality. It's imported from abroad. It will sell like hotcakes. But it's not safe for me to go to the market. I want to sell them quietly without drawing attention to myself. I found the canned food in the hold. Nobody used them. Rule one in the bars. Not nailed down, doesn't belong to anyone. So I took as many as I could carry. All right, we can do that. Deal. Here's a crate with 50 can. Wholesale price is $50 per can. You can sell them for $100 a piece, so the crate costs three grand. Wow. You give me 3,000 and sell it all. Whatever you make above three grand is yours to keep. Nice. Although this is a little bit of a uh, multi-level marketing scheme, isn't it? I don't know if I want to bite hook, line, and sinker just yet. But anyway, hope you enjoyed some more Behold, everybody. Or Beholder, sorry. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like on this as well if you're enjoying it. Appreciate that a lot. I'll see you next time.